this is Raymond Aaron, New York Times top 10 bestselling author with Advent number, I've forgotten, Advent number 12. Advent number 12. We're already up to 12 out of 16. And this one is a strange one. This is called Cherish Your Woman. Now you might say, hey, how about Cherish Your Man? I'm, I'm a man. And my rule is to cherish the woman that I'm with. And women, if you want to cherish your man, go ahead. But I can only speak from my own experience. So even though I might want to entitle this Cherish Your Spouse, with integrity, all I can do is say Cherish Your Woman. And I have examples from that end. And the only advice I can give to the women is don't you dare marry, fall in love with, or even date a guy that doesn't cherish you. If he is not totally into you and says it and does it like with his actions and with his speech, get out of there fast. So let me talk about Cherish Your Woman. My wife, Karen, I, I come up with expressions for her and I say them all the time. Like one time early in our relationship, I smelt her hair in the morning and she smelt wonderful. And, and so I notice I have a woman who smells wonderful in the morning. And I tell her that every morning, sweetheart, you smell so good in the morning. And I'll slip out of bed when she is still sleeping, which is actually quite easy. And I'll do a Starbucks run and I'll come back and, and wake her up with a Starbucks. Or I'll make her favorite breakfast, which is easy for me to make. It's not like a really tough breakfast. She just likes eggs and a couple things with it. So it's easy for me. I'm not saying I do a great chefery job. I'm not a great chef, but I do it. And one time, one time when I gave her Starbucks and breakfast in bed, I propped up the pillow and straightened her out and then straightened the straighten the sheets and the covers and then I had a tray and I put it on her lap she looked at me and said guess who won the husband lottery and guys if you've been through a divorce and then you can get a line like that from your woman and know you're not going to have to suffer the financial horror but even worse the psychic and emotional horror of a divorce it's worth it uh, all during the day, I tell my wife how beautiful she is because she is. And I, t and I acknowledge her for who she is, for her beingness. That is, I tell her how funny she is and how loving she is and how thoughtful she is. And I acknowledge her for her doing this. Thank you for doing that for our daughter, Emma. Thank you for making our home so beautiful. Thank you for putting the fragrances on that I love when I come home. Thank you for leaving a note for me on the door when I come home. Thank you for having flowers delivered every two weeks so our home is such a beautiful place. Thank you for finding this home. I, I just cherish her all the time. I thank her for what she does and I thank her for who she is. I acknowledge her, I, I do little things for her and of course, the expression, happy wife, happy life, holy macro. If you want to know what that's true, guys, just think of how your life is when your woman is unhappy. And you might say, well, why doesn't this work both ways? It just doesn't. I don't know why. But if, if guys are together talking, like guys out drinking or something, and one of them says, my wife's really mad at me, all the other guys shudder. They say, oh my God, sorry to hear it. Because they know how ugly life is for the guy when the woman doesn't like him. But if women are getting together and one of them says, by the way, my, my husband's mad at me today. <laughs> like, who cares? Pass the champagne. Like, it, it doesn't affect women the same. And the reason is that we, I love anthropology and I go back, I think of a lot of things anthropologically. That means the study of ancient man. And if, if you go back to anthropology, it was the guy's job to go get the food. So a guy would go out and he'd club some saber-toothed lion over the head and drag him home, and the family would eat. 
the worst that could happen to a guy is they didn't kill any tiger and he didn't drag anything home and you didn't eat for a day. And so guys just had to be strong and stupid. Strong and stupid. That, that's all men had to be. And if you look at the checkout counter of supermarkets these days, the magazines for men are all about naked or half-naked women, sports, big trucks. It's just shallow stuff, just shallow, shallow stuff. So today, nothing's changed. Men are, to a large part, strong and stupid. But the women in caveman days, the women had to stay at home with the children, obviously, tending the fire. And, and I don't think that women wore much in caveman days. There was no such thing as fashion. They wore just enough to keep them warm. And I suspect that if a caveman saw a cave woman, a pretty cave woman, not wearing very much clothing, that he would get as turned on as I would if I saw a very beautiful, scantily dressed woman. And she has to do something important. She had to immediately sense the situation. She had to immediately know if what that man's intentions were. Was he going to eat the children or rape her or murder her? Or what was he going to do? And so she had to be very deep in her understanding of relationship, in her understanding of relationship. And nothing's changed. If you look at magazines for women today, it's all celebrity garbage. It's all, it's about, it's about relationship, but exaggerated relationship, like soap operas. But underneath, it's about relationship. So women, for the last million years, have been schooled deeply in relationship, and men have been schooled in being strong and not that, you don't have to be that bright, you just have to be strong. I mean, these days, with, with mental workers, you have to be strong, but for millions of years, you didn't, you didn't have to be that bright, you just have to be strong. So women have learned how to understand relationships. And so my rule is that the woman is always right. Now, that might horrify you. The woman is always right in relationship, in relationship, because anthropologically, she has come from a million years of having to understand relationship. Men have just had to bash some meat over the head and drag it home. So I hope I'm not offending men. I'm hoping I'm not offending women. I hope you don't get upset. I'm just telling my truth. So it's just my truth. You don't like it, that's okay like the other ones that I'm doing. And so my rule is the woman's always right in relationship. If Karen says, this is how it's gonna be in our relationship, that's it. And I have another rule that the woman always knows because the woman always knows relationship. So if a guy has an affair, the woman knows. And Karen can know, I don't know how she does it. If I was in South Africa and there was a really pretty girl there and she caught me. I didn't do anything, of course. I didn't touch her. I didn't do anything. Nothing. Nothing. I hardly even spoke to her. But when I got back from South Africa, I live in Canada, she said, were you attracted to that little girl? I mean, not a girl. Were you attracted to that young lady? Yeah. <laughs> how do you know? She said, I knew. She could just tell. I don't know how she tells. And so my rules are, the woman always knows, and the woman is always right in relationships. So men, if you're having any difficulty at all in your relationship, do nothing except start cherishing her and watch. Just watch what happens. And if you ever think of doing something a little not allowed in your relationship, maybe at an office party or something, just assume that your wife actually knows about it and don't do it. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. And women, if you got a lesson from this, wonderful. By the way, please reply. Hit like and hit reply and tell me what you like and what you don't like. Not necessarily just about this one, but all the others so I can change future ones. And I love you and I love that you're listening to this and I hope you're enjoying it and I hope that you're learning and I hope that you like this little chocolate goodie of education. Tune in tomorrow for the next Advent Insight. They're calorie free.